So, hi guys, welcome to the next uh, military video, and this one will be on the British uh, Royal Air Force uh, 1937 pattern uh, bayonet for a webbing, um, specifically for the Lee Enfield number 4, um, well, number 4 Mark 1 uh, and Mark 2 bayonets. So, this is the, 30, as I said, the 1937 pattern um, bayonet frog. Of course, you know, or what, you all know what the uh, number 4 bayonet looks like. Um, it's just got a small catch in there, bayonet sheath basically goes in there, catches on there, comes out there, bayonets on there, and um, it's back, it's still back in the old days of when it was the 1907 pattern bayonet being used in the Second World War, early war, and it was still kind of that. A lot of times used to convert these, so you can kind of call this the frog for the 1907 pattern bayonet because it got this, yeah, and the frog for a number four bayonet. You can put both, you know. Um, but yeah, it's in RAF blue, blue blank code, and by the look of it, it has the manufacturer's code and the date of probably not be able to see that 1943, 1942, 1943, along there, looks like it, but yeah, RF blue, as of course, RF webbing was always blue blank coat, and of course the army was green blank coat, or if you get neutral webbing, that's different, that's when it's come out of the factory, um, so yeah, um, you can see it's blue stitching of course, right down there, and blueness of it, but yeah, um, this has been a little quick military video on a British Royal Air Force, um, RAF Royal Air Force, um, 1937 pattern bayonet frog um, for either the number 4 or either the SMLE uh, 1907 pattern bayonet or the number 4 bayonet. Um, so thanks for watching guys, have a good one and keep well and bye.